Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to look in on the Red Wiggler, formerly Cocoon Only bin, currently a little corny, and we are going to see what they're doing, but we're also going to do something else. We're going to start migrating the babies. All right, let's have a look. Looks like some really good castings in here. They pretty much had paper bedding their entire life. So it's quite a bit lighter than it would be if, if we had been using uh, leaf bedding. But let's dig around and see if we can find the corn cob, first of all, and see what's going on with that. Looks like they're, they're getting into it nicely. I'm just going to break a little bit because of the migration, it's going to need to fit inside the migration area. Alright, and here's their little bag that the cocoons came into. They still like to be in there for some reason every once in a while. So I'm going to take a look, move everybody over, and then we're going to start our migration at this end. So I'm going to take my corn project there, move it off to one side. Looks like they've still got quite a bit of bedding that I gave, gave them last time. It's the colored bedding. You can tell cereal boxes and all the boxes, etc. And it is still very damp in here, which they seem to like. Um, certainly for, there's another piece of the corn. Certainly for, if I was going to harvest this, I would want this a lot drier. But since it is such a, you know, since it's a, its own project, I'm not really concerned about harvesting it. Right now I'm just building the population and seeing what they can do. So I'm going to mound everything up on this side for the migration, if I can get it to do it. And then what I have prepared for them for their migration incentive is paper bedding that I have taken and mixed with some moldy bread. So it's going to be kind of hard to see that it's moldy bread because it's going to look just like regular paper and cardboard bedding. But that is what is in there. It is all mixed in there very thoroughly. So I'm going to put that on one side. I'm going to put my corn, my little bag, and what's left of that corn cob over there. And that. And then I'm just going to kind of put that up to it the best I can. It's not as tall as the other. I'm going to fill that up with just a little bit more. And I'm hoping you can see the difference between this side, which is pretty finished. I mean, it's been a year, so a year and a couple of months. So they've had a good long time to work on that. And this area should be super tasty for them because it's got pureed bread and cardboard bedding, which is their favorite. All right, let me switch things out and we'll look at the European Nightcrawlers. All right, I'm back. And now we're going to look at the European Nightcrawlers. Look at those castings. That is just beautiful. All castings right there on top. And you can see I've got some lovely sized worms in here. Look at this guy. He's getting pretty, pr pretty, pretty big. I was worried about them for a while. All right, let's see if we can find the corn cob. If there's anything left. I'm sure there is. The, I went and washed my hands because I did use both hands to do that migration. So, again, looks like they're 
they're down to just the bare cob. Carefully breaking it. It almost looks like they've hollowed this one out more. I don't know if that's got to do with the corn or the worms. It's hard to tell. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to try and find their little bag. Because they too had a little bag that I think now is not biodegradable. You can tell sometimes the cardboard that you put in here has tape on it and you don't even realize it. So there's a little bit more of that corn. find a bag. Looks like I'm going to have to leave the lid off. This one's getting way too wet. There it is. Wait. There we go. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. These are definitely getting to be some good size worms here. You can see all sizes of worms in there. And as wet as this is, I'm not seeing any kind of pest species at all. So I don't know if a bed that is this ridiculously wet just doesn't have any other pest because they can't live in it that wet. Or if it's just because I've kept them separate from every other bin. I don't know. If you have any ideas, put it down in the comments. All right, so we're going to start putting the new bedding in that's been mixed with pureed, pureed bread. And then in the middle there, we'll put what's left over of our corn. And then I will finish filling up this side with the new bedding. Yeah, it's wild. I put whole thing of hot dog buns, a whole thing of pita bread, and a half a loaf of wheat bread, and you can't even see anything. I just soaked it in water until it basically annihilated itself. And then I did, as you can see the little white flecks in here, I did put quite a bit of grit in here so that this is going to be a new ecosystem for them. They're going to need new grit especially if I'm ever going to get this dry enough to harvest. And then I'm just going to try and make the levels even again. Okay. Well, so kind of an experiment on top of an experiment. We're doing our little corny project. We're going to continue on with that and see how long it takes them. They haven't had any other corn in here. So we're going to see how long it takes them to finish off those corn cobs and then also we're going to be migrating them at the same time. So if you like the video give me a muddy thumbs up and if you're not already a member of my worm family click that subscribe button and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it ring that little bell icon. Alright guys thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.